Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sword of Hope 2. Um, I'm actually having to record this narration after the fact again. I'm not sure why my mic is working and recording, um, but I lost the microphone track on this one. Um, which is okay because really not much happens in this. Uh, this was a ten and a half minute long video, and when I sped the battles up to, um, to eight times speed, it went on to four minutes and thirty-seven seconds. So it's a lot of random battles and a little bit of walking around and um, searching for this particular um, fairy. Um, however, we did find that this plant restores 10 mana points, which is very nice. Um, I don't think we're going to need it because we're way too powerful for this area, it seems. Water pixies dance inside. This is kind of hot, actually. Or maybe not. Whatever. Autopixes began talking. Welcome, Theo. We've been expecting you. Okay. Our elder awaits you in his chambers. And of course, I don't bother to tell you where his chambers are, so take that. Ah. I don't think I've hit anyone yet in this game. I tried to hit King Hennessy, but it wouldn't let me. And I, as far as I know, that doesn't have any negative repercussions in this game. You can just go around hitting whoever. So, yep, still just looking for where I have to go next. Uh, can't do anything with that rock right now. But I think I can later. Okay, another random battle. I love how this sounds at 8 times speed. Like, it's not something that I would, you know, listen to. Uh, oh, yeah, we have two in a row pretty much, so. Alright, so there's half the video in, uh, <laughs> um, oh, right, um, that slug actually spat on Theo and turned him into stone. That's the only special attack they have. Um, not a big deal. You know, you take a couple damage if you move around. Let's see. I'm waiting for you, Prince Theo. Petty thieves, driven by greed, unknowingly cracked the casket and freed the King of Darkness. Stop him, Theo, before he rules this world anew. Well, yeah, we figured that out like four hours ago when we saw it happen, but thanks. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Uh, you know, all the psychics in this game really suck. Like, <laughs> they've just been telling us things that we like, that you've, the game knows you have experienced this firsthand by this point. Okay, more random battles, hooray! Alright, Theo learned Beacon right there, which is quite nice. It's like the opposite of Fortify. Uh, another thing to make boss battles a lot easier. Not really worth it in just a random battle like this, but for really tough enemies, it's great. Oh, here, and Mute gains or learns Frost, um, which is like ice, but is unique, I guess, and affects the entire um, group of similar enemies. Um, it's very useful here, where fire seems not to be very good. So, let's use that on That sounds like it's tripping, I like it. And by this point, I just have absolutely no idea where to go, because every time I get a random battle, I forget where I came from. And as you can see, it's happening every freaking time I take a step. And that's like clockwork or something. So anyways, um, this is where the video leaves off, because it was at ten and a half minutes, and I didn't realize it was going to become four and a half when I fast forwarded through all the battles. Um, yeah, I decided at this point that I was going to pause to take a look around, and so anyway, thanks for watching. Let's play Sword of Hope 2, and this is Archon Ambrosius signing off.